Hi, I'm Rajesh here once again with my YouTube channel Rajenomics. This is my ninth lecture in the series, and today I'm going to discuss Keynes theory of consumption. One of the most important theories discussed and studied in the domain of microeconomics. John Maynard Keynes, one of the most influential economists of modern times whose theories and concepts we study even today. So, what does Keynes theory of consumption talk about? What did Keynes say in his theory of consumption? In this theory, he talked about the direct relationship between consumption and income. So, according to him, there is a direct relationship between consumption and income. Higher the income, higher is the consumption. That means your income grows, your consumption grows. That is, you buy more and more when your income grows. Maybe you buy your two-wheeler, maybe you buy more and more of your clothing, maybe you buy more and more of food, maybe you buy, go for more and more of entertainment. So, higher the income, higher is the consumption, lower the income, lower is the consumption. That's the reason why he said C is equal to consumption is equal to function of Y. Consumption is function of income and consumption is uh, the, the income is the most important determinant of consumption. However, he further added that although the consumption increases with increase in income, but it doesn't increase in the same proportion. That means if my income doubles, it is not that I will double my consumption. Or if I triple my, if my income triples, it doesn't mean that my consumption also triples. So this conveys the fact that there are savings. So Keynes wanted to tell us that everything, every part of the income is not consumed. A part of it is set aside for savings. In the process of explaining the theory of consumption, he talked about two concepts. Average propensity to consume. Average propensity to consume which refers to the part of income which is devoted for consumption, which is set aside for consumption. For instance, if my income is 1000, I set aside 100 rupees for consumption, then my average propensity to consume will be 100 by 1000. Apart from average propensity to consume, he also talked about another concept and that is marginal propensity to consume. Marginal propensity to consume. That is the change in consumption due to change in income. If my income increases by one unit, say one rupee or one thousand or one hundred, by how much does my consumption change? So one unit rise in income leads to how much of change in consumption? So marginal propensity to consume delta C by delta Y delta denotes delta denotes the change. For example, my income last month was 100 and my consumption was say 200. Now my income is say 300 and my consumption is 250. Now how much is the change in the income? 100 has become 300. That means 200 is the change in the in, uh, 200 is the change in the income. The delta y, the change in income is 
200. 100 has become 300. So an increase of 200. Then by how much has the consumption increased? 200 has become 250. So the change in consumption, delta C is 50. So 50 by 200 is my MPC, marginal propensity to consume. So this is a very important theory in the realm of macroeconomics. Of course, there were certain criticisms against his theory, which I may lecture about it in my forthcoming uh, classes. But for the next lecture, it is Keynes' theory of multiplier, another very important theory of Keynes. So, bye for now. Subscribe, like, and keep seeing my channel. Bye-bye.